Hi guys, Ian from the Football Boots team and today I'm going to be showing you what is inside fake football boots. I am going to be using the knife, the scissors, matches, blowtorch. We're going to cut these up. So you may have seen previous videos before where we've taken apart Superflies. This is a Superfly collar. It's off the top and I will be cutting the top off these fake ones and we'll be comparing to see if they're the same, if there's any differences. The most interesting thing though is once we get inside the boots and we can find out if the inside of a Hyper Venom actually is the same as the inside of a fake one. Now fake boots are boots that are not made by the official manufacturer. So these boots have not been made by Nike or in a Nike factory, but you will see cheaper scaled down boots like a Felon or a, uh, a Fade or something like that. And those are real genuine Nike products. So they're not fakes. They are just lower grade boots. These are actual fake boots not made by Nike. And I'm going to take a look inside them to find out what is really going on inside these boots. So the first boot I'm going to do is the Hyper Venoms. Then I'll move on to do the Magistas. And then I'm going to wrap up by looking at the Superflies. So we're going to cut these up. Has it got three meters of um, fly wire in these? We are going to find out. First off, um, let's have a look at what I did to the Hyper Venoms. And here is what's left over. And I really want to compare and see what's inside these areas here, these pour on pods. We want to cut into that. And I think the first thing is probably just to use some scissors and cut into these and just see what we find out inside these boots. Then I will get the hot knife going and we'll take off this sole plate and be able to compare it to this sole plate on those. I'm just looking at the way I cut these before and it was kind of going down all the way through cutting open the upper through there. So let's do that on these and let's see what it is inside of these boots. A pair of scissors will go down through here. So first off, it's very easy to cut through. Sometimes I have a lot of trouble cutting into um, football boots, but not with these today. I mean, at the moment I'm going through the sock part, so that's gonna be part of it. All right, what I think I'd like to do is hot knife all the way around here and we'll take this all off and then I'll be able to compare these two together. So let's head outside and hot knife this. So let's take a look at what's happened with the heel area here because this is something that's really important for comfort in your game. Look at this massive section here which is foam padding around your ankle for comfort and in the fake ones it's just not there. I mean there is some very, very thin, like that's the thickness of the foam in there. It's tiny, it's not going to do anything for comfort and this has been put in here specifically to make sure that these boots are going to feel comfortable around your heel. Then you've also got this much thicker plasticky bit just here. Again, not really evident in inside because they've got the outer part, but there's nothing in the inside in this. Well, maybe just a tiny bit of plasticiness here. But again, it's not the same and that's the protection. So you actually can get a bit more protection from this harder heel area on the real ones compared with these fake ones, which just don't have it at all. Um, I'm gonna try and turn this inside out. There we go. It can't be good when you can snap a heel kind of like it on itself like that. It can't ever be good. Let's turn this inside out. Now, remember, we're going to um, carry on. We're going to look at the Magistas, and we're also going to look at the Superflies soon. Um, 
Texture is very difficult. You're not seeing any of these pore and pods here. It's almost the inside looking of like a Magista or something, the way that this is going on. Um, this is whole like area here for like holding the boot together and for comfort in and around the forefoot. Nothing going on there as well. On the originals, you can see the signature of the people that actually made it for quality control. Nothing going on here. And then what is going on with these little dots here? Is this? All oh, right. Oh, interesting. So they actually have gone to the. This is kind of interesting. I mean, I think actually it might actually be goes all the way through. Do you see that? That's the the flywire going through those red lines here. Like if you guys can see, like through here, through there. So it'd be interesting to try and get a bit of that out. In the past, I've done that with other boots. So what should happen here is I should be able to hook onto this and pull it all the way through. No. So what happened with the other ones, with the real ones, is you can actually pull the fly wire through because it actually does something. For the fly wire to be effective, you have to be able to pull it and move it, and that's what's helping adjust the fit. So this is just for show, it's not actually doing anything. Whilst you can see that they bothered to put it through the boot, it's just glued into place, there's no movement, and you can't pull it out, so it's actually not gonna lock you in in the same way or give you the adjustments that the genuine fly wire will. So in the in the other video when I cut apart the um, hypervenoms, you could see me take out the little bit of the pod. So let's cut this out now so you can see. I mean, I'm guessing that there's nothing in there. I mean, maybe I could be wrong. Just looks like it's a transfer to me. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing in there. This is just a bit of material, like one side and the other side. There's actually nothing in there at all. And um, you'll see on the clip, you can even still see the yellow here. And you guys can see on the replay of me doing it again. I'm not gonna show you, but there, you can see that yellow. And obviously we took the piece out and you're seeing that on the screen right now. All right, so we shall move on to another boot. Let's do the Magisas. And after the Magisas, we will look at what is inside the Superflies. Um, so let's speed along and let me find the other pair of Magisas that we have that we've taken apart. Let's move all of this out of the way. So these were the original Magisas, these are the launch colorway, um, and I'm gonna compare across the same again. And I think perhaps the first thing we could do with these is cut these down the middle as well. Um, we will just speed it up as I take the laces out. All right, what I'm gonna do to start off with, with the Magista is I'm gonna do the same as we did with these ones, I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle and then we can have a like for like comparison. I mean, first things, like looking at this, they've done a pretty good job with um, mimicking the, the collar and they've got the bits where it pops out and stuff. Like it's a pretty nice job there. So we're gonna try and cut all the way down through the middle here. Very easy to get through there. Um, and then we'll just, oh, that cuts quite easy for an upper. It's a bit tighter once you get into these little spaces at the end. All right, let's have a little look inside. It's not gonna rip on me. Um, so this is the inside of the real one. And this is the inside of the fake one. And I can already see like what's going on there. Can you see that? I can really get my hand in through here. This is a bit weird. It's not glued down properly. If you can bring it around that way, you can see like in through there, like just the light coming through, shows you how thin that sole plate is. Not a good situation at all. And dramatically different to what the genuine one looks like. Yes, you can see the light coming through this one as well, but they're completely different beasts. I mean, this one has like a kind of weird meshness to it. And like super bendy, flexible. Like I'm not sure you should ever be able to do that to a football boot. You just fold that up and away you go. Oh, that's a strange thing. Let's see if I can do it to this one too. Now let's see how like I'm really having to force that back on itself. It's just a difference in the strength of these boots. All right, so let's cut this one open a bit more. I am tempted to hot knife off this side bit here just so we can get a good look into the side and um, we'll come back and, and dissect it a little bit more. Interesting, look at this ribbing in the inside of the genuine one. Um, not there at all on these ones. A lot of plastic in and around these lace hole areas. Um, Clearly not the same on these again.
Right, so let's have a look at the differences between these two. Um, one thing on the original ones, as you can see this nice thick plush material, quite a lot of padding in there. And well, you guys can see what I can see. There's just nothing going on here. Where's the padding? Like these are gonna be so less comfortable than these. So you guys are looking at fake boots, you're gonna get a boot that might have a similar look to it, but it is not gonna feel the same. Like that's just so super thin, nothing going on there. And then even up into the, well, I, I took out the other bit of this boot, but see this padding is what I'm talking about. It's just not there. Look at that bit of foam and stuff. You're not getting that on the fakes. There's just nothing in there at all. Uh, yeah. The other thing with this upper, is even even here you can see this nice material it's almost kind of like the back of leather feel and this is just cheap plastic and really not much going on at all um, plastic in and around those lace hole covers again so that's to stop them i've obviously tried to make them look like they're genuine nike by putting the tag in that's not the real deal okay let's move on to the superfly this is the last one you guys want to see and the thing with these is i am going to cut them down the middle so we can look inside the sole plate and just see, because obviously with the Superfly Fires, it should have this, um, the nylon chassis. Um, these are the AG version. Doesn't really make any difference between the AG and the FG for the comparison of the fakes. The ones I do have are the um, FG version for the other ones. But let's go and take a look at these and cut them up. And I think the first thing we wanna do is slice off the collar. Um, and then I can compare the collar to the last one, because obviously that's an important aspect of the Superfly. So we're gonna cut that off first and then we will just go literally down the middle of the boot exactly the same as we did with these um, and you'll see me do that in a second so we'll go straight down the boot i'll split it open and we'll compare it like for like with the genuine ones against the fake so you can see what's going on inside of that then at the end of the video you guys can tell me which one you um were most interested in seeing you prefer in seeing the magista the hyperpens or the superfly inside right so let's grab the knife let's cut this one let's get on with it So let's have a little quick look at the collars here and it's kind of hard to tell that much difference between the two from this point i would say that this one maybe it was the heat of the knife it was just a bit harder to cut through this um obviously there's like the patterning and stuff on this one but i mean to be honest there's nothing that really jumped out at me differently on the collars at this time even like the way that they've put the heel bit together so let's just carry on from that obviously one thing you guys really want to see is inside the superfly so here we go So that's inside the fakes. Let's bring in a real one and um, we'll just pop that on top and start looking at the differences. Definite difference on the sole plate here. Now, one thing I'm just noticing straight away is that this is just, look at this thick plastic. That's just pure like TPU. And on this one, you really can see the layers. It's melted a little bit in these points here, but they are, and it's a lot, it's a lot thinner. So the, the, the genuine one is a lot thinner in the, in the sole plate. But interestingly, this was a lot easier, I thought, to cut through than this. No um, speed grip stuff going on with the sole plate on these. Obviously, that's like quite clearly different again. Um, so looking at the front parts here, Nike got this bit for holding the boot together here and um, making it wrap around the forefoot a little bit better. Nothing used in the fakes at all. Um, and looking at this, this, what is the point in this line of stitching here if it's not actually connecting to the boot here? Like it's like they've missed out this like 
they've missed out this whole white layer. It's just not there on these. All right, guys, so you have seen the inside of three different fake boots. Which were you most interested to see the insides of? Is there anything else you want to know? Drop a comment below if you do want to know anything more about these boots. That's the inside of the fake boots. We might do inside of fake Adidas boots at some time if you would like to see it. So let us know in the comments about that too. Vote in the poll card. Which was your favorite to see the insides of? I am a little bit shocked by the plastic on this Superfly. Thanks for watching, guys. Go enjoy your football.